This video will walk through how to upgrade the firmware on a Trotec laser system running the Ruby software. For this process to work, your computer will need access to the internet. With the laser machine on, open the Ruby software. Click the main drop down menu inside the Ruby software. Select the settings menu. Click the service button and this will open the firmware installation wizard. Select Next to start a device firmware update. Click Disconnect. Now turn off the laser machine, then open the lid on the laser and turn the laser machine back on, leaving the lid up. Once the machine is fully on, click Next and a firmware list will show up with all the different available firmware versions for the connected laser machine. This list will vary because there are many different models of the same type of laser system. Make sure you know your model and select the correct firmware. To confirm the correct version of firmware, locate the serial tag on the backside of the laser machine to determine the version of electronics. This example is 8069, but this number in the same location will vary based on the type of laser system you have. This example list is all the Speedy 360 versions of firmware. This list includes the 8032, which is an older style flex machine. The 8031, which is an older style fiber only machine. The X8069JPT, this is a current style flex machine with the JPT fiber laser. The X8069IPG is a current style flex machine with the IPG fiber laser. The C8069 is a current style that is CO2 only. And finally, the 8030 is an old style CO2 only machine. Select your laser version from this list determined from reviewing your serial tag. After selecting the laser machine firmware version, click the Load New Firmware button and then select Validate to validate the chosen firmware. Once it is validated, click the Upload Firmware button. A warning will then show on the screen that the firmware will be updated and to warn you not to turn off the laser during this process. Select Yes to proceed. Let the machine upload and install the firmware. This example is time-lapsed, but this process typically will take up to 3 minutes, depending on your internet and computer speeds. Be patient and do not turn off the laser machine or computer during this process. Once finished, a green Firmware Update Complete message will show up on the bottom right side of the screen. And if you have a run-on Ruby touchscreen, it will also show on this screen. Now close the laser lid, turn off the laser machine, wait 10 seconds, then turn the laser machine back on. The laser system firmware is now updated and ready for laser processing. If you have any questions or are unsure what firmware needs to be selected when updating your firmware, please don't hesitate to contact our support department before updating.